Good morning, everyone. I wanted to share something that I have learned. I guess you could say a tactic or a strategy or a, you know, thing to do. Coping mechanism. <laughs> uh, a thing that I learned from ENFPs as an ENFJ. And I'm not saying that all ENFPs do this, but I am saying that this is some, this is like some insight that I've gleaned from watching my INFP and ENFP friends and sort of seeing how they live their life and how I could apply it to mine to better my life. What areas of life do they seem, you know, like things go more smoothly versus in my life? So as an ENFP, as an ENFJ, typically whenever I get an unhappy emotion, something like not wanting to get out of bed or not wanting to, just not feeling compelled to do something that, you know, my inferior interpreted thinking thinks that you have to do. This happened in school a lot where it's like, you have to study because you have to get an A. Like that sort of um, inferior uh, introverted thinking voice was always driving me, even if I didn't feel like doing something. And this really is sort of like introverted feeling, only like that sort of feeling that compels you to do something. That's why a lot of times NFPs are often like late to work or late to um, meeting with their friends or whatever. NFJs can be late too, because in my experience, intuitives don't have the best concept of time. But an NFJ will be late and be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I was in traffic, and you know? oh my god. But like, uh, the NFP is the sort of person that like, um, they're in their apartment, and then they'll text you and say, I'm five minutes away, and then they aren't five minutes away. They, you know, they bump into a dog on the way there, and they pet the dog, and then they ask the person about, what's the dog's name, or whatever, and then they you know, they just sort of let life take them. So something that I have learned from NFPs that I'm trying to implement in my life is if I don't feel like doing something, instead of shaming myself for the fact that I should feel like doing it, I instead ask myself, why do I not feel like that? Why do I feel why does that task feel so daunting why does uh talking to this person feel I'm crying wow this is deep I didn't realize it was gonna be deep anyway a lot of times I actually honor or due to my NFP friends I honor those feelings or I've learned to honor those feelings when they come up as opposed to beating them down and telling myself that I'm stupid. Uh, like, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to get out of bed. And NFJ would be like, you lazy piece of shit. Get the, get up. You have people to, do, you have things to do. You have people to see. But now I try and look internally and ask myself why I feel that way. And honor those things. I don't ever brush those feelings off. In fact, I really read into them. If I consistently am taking forever to text a friend back, I ask myself, why does that person make me feel like my best self? And often, if I really dig into it, there is a reason why some people takes forever for me to text back and some people I text back instantly it's based on what I feel compelled to do and you can say this with a, like in school if you are in a major in college and you are finding yourself not feeling compelled to go to those classes are you interested about what you're learning is it the teacher is it school itself is there something else that you aren't doing um you know I've began to look at those feelings as not random at all, but instead um, indicative of my um, inherent identity and my inherent needs. And so I monitor them really closely. Like whenever I feel groggy, I try and honor that. 
And something that has been very, very scary for me to do is there are times whenever I just do not feel compelled to move or I do not feel compelled to do what I'm supposed to do, what people are counting on me to do. And for the record, my entire life, I have always done <laughs> what people are counting on me to do. It's been like my worst fear to think that I am doing not what people are counting on me to do. But instead, what I'm trying to do as a little life experiment is honor those feelings when they come up and listen to where my heart is taking me, even if it's risky. Trusting that I would not, my emotions would not deceive myself. If something wasn't suited for my emotional needs, then I wouldn't be having a feeling like that. Feelings aren't random in that way. Um... So sometimes, you know, if I don't feel compelled to move, even if I'm supposed to be somewhere at a certain time, I've been trying to lean in to that feeling and trust it and see what I can learn from it. And also trust that, you know, you know, NFPs with their introverted sensing, they also have a more internal sense of security you might think that's weird since they're P's and NJ's are J's, but NJ's, we don't feel secure, which is why we are always trying to build our life to be perfect. So, but NFPs feel like what I found is a lot of times with introverted sensing, they feel more trust in the universe and how the way things work and that, you know, things flow to them, that they are stable. So... You know, I'm trying to just lean into that a little bit. Hopefully that made sense to some of you. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a series, actually, that goes more in depth about each of the types and the lessons I've learned from them. This is just one lesson I've learned from ENFPs or NFPs. So I'm thinking that I might do a series of, like, everything that I've learned from an ENFP, everything that I've learned from an INFP. So comment below and tell me what type you'd want me to do um, first. Or next and also uh, join my Facebook group personality typology for self-growth I will link it below and thank you so much for being supportive I love you so much bye